Big tech stocks continuing to rebound today from lows earlier this week on reports that the DOJ and the Federal Trade Commission are divvying up antitrust investigations into Facebook, Alphabet, and maybe even Apple. Will the threat of regulation take away tech giants' appetite for multi-billion dollar deals? Joining us now, Kate Rooney, CNBC.com's markets reporter. I guess the theory here would be that these big players, which have been acquisitive in the past, uh, might be chilled a little bit that bigger is not necessarily better if the FTC is watching. That seems to be the case. And on Monday when these stocks were falling, all the Wall Street analysts were saying they're not going to be broken up. But the big takeaway was this is going to chill M&A, and that's been a huge area of growth for them. They've bought a, uh, Microsoft LinkedIn. You have Facebook and Instagram, what at the time didn't seem to be anti-competitive, but regulators now might be, go, ooh, I don't know. Google and uh, YouTube, for example. Right. So exactly. they, might, they might be a little less. But there's still plenty of, I would think, opportunity for merger activity, though it might not involve the biggest of the big. Exactly. And this is really mega deals. So there will be other tech M&A, but the multi-billion dollar deals, there's a, a certain threshold for when you need the DOJ or FTC to step in. I think it's 90 million. So there, there's a possibility that um, they'll either go for smaller deals or you'll see other competitors doing more. And that's exactly what we saw this week. I mean, just a couple of days after all the investigations were sort of in the news and in the stocks, we hear that Alphabet's buying Looker. So it's sort of these couple billion dollar deal sizes that we're looking at at this point. Exactly. And that's, I mean, a $2.6 billion deal is substantial. But for Google, <laughs> I mean, Nothing. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And last year they did total, the biggest five tech companies did $30 billion. In M A this year, with that deal included, it's four billion halfway through. So the there year. has been a significant slowing. Yeah, eighty percent slowdown. So PitchBook sent us some some data, and uh, for the first two quarters of the year, it was not even two billion dollars, and last year it was over twenty billion dollars. So there has been it's an eighty-one percent slowdown. Wow. And the interesting juxtaposition is that these companies are building up their cash hoards at the same time, and they're buying their stock. So right. they're finding other ways to deploy that capital, not M&A necessarily. Right. And that, I think the big area of concern is growth. Like, that is why they've led the bull market for 10 years, and M&A is a part of growth. I don't think it's going to hit the stocks necessarily. And that was Wall Street analysts, who had Gene Munster and a couple others, saying the fundamentals are still good, people are still buying, but M&A will, will really slow down.